All right, so I'm back here with another video on the Hawkeye Thumb 4K. And some of you mentioned that you can use this camera as an analog FPV camera, as in you can actually fly through it. I uh, wasn't really optimistic that that feature would be viable, so I'm gonna test it out. Um, you know, this is nothing new. Other cameras have had this feature with uh, video out and the latency has been extremely high, so not really usable. Now, the pin and the, the, the plug in the back here, the three pin, or the, actually it's a five, four pin connector, three of the pins there is the same size pin as on a typical FPV camera, analog camera, and it's just that the plug is upside down. For some reason, Hawkeye installed it upside down. So the power and the video wires are actually reversed. So you, I created a little adapter there, and that plug is from the flight controller, five volts, and then this switches the two wires, the red and the yellow. It is upside down relative to the actual plug that comes from the flight controller. And if you plug in uh, it backwards, or don't plug it in correctly, you might fry the camera or your flight controller, so be aware of that. And you can see here, there's no FPV camera in here. I removed that, it was like a Caddx Ant or something like that. I'm gonna fly through the Hawkeye Thumb 4K while recording video see if it's uh, viable or not um, and uh, yeah for those of you guys that are top FPV pilots uh, doing racing and want to know if you can fly you know, do your races through this camera um, that's not the purpose of this video I really don't care about that and I kind of wonder if any of you guys that are watching my channel are top racers anyway if you are let me know I'm pretty sure that most of you that watch my channel are not so this is mainly to see if this is flyable and you can record video and fly through the camera at the same time and I will narrate my flight to let you know how I, how I feel about the latency and what the image quality and everything is like through the goggles. Okay, got video. Recording from the goggles. Hitting record on the camera. So, interestingly, I think they've compressed the field or the, um, what you call it, the aspect ratio is, is 4.3 in my goggles. And it's 16 by 9 coming from the camera. So everything looks like it's uh, squished or the taller. But the latency is not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Uh, this uh, this quad does not have a very good video transmitter, unfortunately. I might have to uh, switch this to a different quad. There's a lot of Wi-Fi interference here as well. Analog video at this location just generally sucks. I'm able to fly around these trees. Wow, why the way? Why is the video so bad? Let me get a little closer here. So I am able to fly even with this funky video. Lindsay is not terrible. Let me see if I can't find a better channel. Uh, maybe this is on a different channel or something. So when I'm on the ground, everything is clear. It's pretty weird. All right, so uh, open area seems to be fine in terms of latency. Let's try if, uh, let's see if, uh, if I can get through this jungle gym. Close proximity flying. So far, so good. Yeah, this uh, feels like it's more zoomed in than it should be on the FPV view. Let's see how what it looks like compared to the uh, HD footage. 
the field of view does seem to make it a little bit hard to fly through the uh, jungle gym. Let's see if I can hit some of these gaps. Uh, no problem there. So it's not terrible, but it's definitely not as good as flying through a regular FPV camera, of course. I mean, I'm able to fly through some of these gaps with this uh, hexacopter, no less. Now the frame rate is a little, it seems a little low. Maybe it's because I'm on 30 FPS. It doesn't feel jittery or anything like that. It's just... My voltage is really sagging. Alright, so I think that's the end of the end of this battery. Crap, I think I have a bad battery. Anyway, talk to you guys later.